What is up guys? Welcome on back to TK's Garage and welcome on back to another Copart walk around. This one is a little different because we're looking at all bikes and there's several very nice running and driving Harley Davidsons and others that we're going to look at today. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be a super long video. We're going to take a look at the ones that I know are kind of very easy to put back on the road and uh, see what you guys think. Guys, the bike selection has been getting better and better out here for Harley. Somebody left that one on. The sucky part about a lot of the stuff with these bikes, guys, is unfortunately um, they are, <laughs> um, how do I say, there's people that come out here to look at these bikes that intentionally will leave these on and stuff to uh, keep people from... Um, call it being able to understand whether or not the bike is any good to bid on it so they'll try to get an advantage by killing the batteries or pulling fuses or doing other mickey mouse stuff but copart's been getting a lot better about uh who they let in another stolen bike boy a lot of these bikes just get stolen man and i get it because it's kind of like what are you going to do catch you're going to try to cop them try to chase them no. <laughs> no. No, they're not. All right, let's look over here and see if any of these run. All right, no power, but another Harley right here. You can see where the whole forks and everything up front is destroyed. Good parts bike, I guess. We got another Harley over here. This one would require the keys. Now, this one is a little different than what I am used to seeing. Does it have the key thing on the side? Oh, it's right here. Okay. And of course, oh no, that's just a fork, right? So then, and don't give me a bunch of shit, guys. If you guys are like normal Harley guys, I don't understand how these, uh, I'm not a Harley dude, to be honest. But, uh, there's got to be a button, a switch, somewhere, that, uh, turns it off and on. I'm not finding it, though. Somebody let me know in the comments. This is a different type of bike than I'm used to seeing from Harley. Normally, it's a, a quick, um, either turn to the knob here, or, I mean, I see the key down here. If that's it, then that seems like that's just a fork lock. That's the key fob. I know that has to be with the bike. But I don't see an off and on switch anywhere. It looks like they laid this one down, huh? Yep. Yeah, I don't see an off and on switch anywhere. I mean, I see your run and kill switch. I don't see a typical switch. Oh, well. Maybe I'll learn something new and you guys can let me know in the comments. Where am I looking for this to turn this thing off and on? I'm looking on the side. It's probably right in front of my face and I'm missing it. All right. Got another Harley over here. Looks like it's got power. I see a blinking light. The entire front is gone. Oof, that is destroyed. Frame damage, you think? Um, I don't know if she has power, but we'll, we'll look and see. She does. Is she in neutral? She's not in neutral. All right. Let's see if we can get it in a neutral and see if she's got enough power to fire up. Motor looks good. I don't see any oil leakage anywhere, so probably fine. She is down in first. Oh. 
All right, one little pull up. Nope. Okay. So I'm not going to try to start this one because it is uh, not going into neutral. So we'll call that a day. Oh, looks like a turn signal is on. Turn that off. Off. There we go. I don't want to kill it for the next person if they want to try to screw with it, but I'm not going to do it. Which brings me to this one, which this one looks super clean. Super, super clean. Now this one looks like it was laid down. You got a little scratching on the bag back here. A little bit on the bar. Front fender. And right here. And that's about it. This is a very easy bike. I mean, this, this. I mean, granted you'd have to make sure that the forks are not screwed and all that. But this bike right here, out of all the ones I've seen today, looks like it's ready for prime time. So let's look and see. It's got power. Mirror is broken on that side, obviously. Clutch. Turn her to the on position. Hit the fire up. Radio works, obviously. She's in neutral. Runs. Sounds good. Let me know what you guys think about this one in the comments. This one's, uh, this one's really nice. Really, really nice. Looks like it just got laid down and they called it a day. Put it back to the off position. Alrighty. Yeah, let me know what you guys think about this one in the comments. All right, we got another Harley over here. Dead or alive. Ooh, she's got power. She also has 50,000 miles on this street glide right here. I wonder where the damage, I see, the, I see some damage to the front fender. Looks like it got scuffed, like it got, okay, she got laid down definitely on this side. See the scuffs? Scuff. Scuff, 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 scuff. Yep, scuff. Dirt, scuff, bag damage. Fixable for sure. All right, she's in neutral according to this, but we're going to clutch it. Power. We'll see if she fires up. Wow. She is in neutral. Runs. Doesn't look bad. Definitely fixable. I just don't know how bad the forks would be. If there's any other frame damage that would keep it from running straight. Not bad. Not bad at all. 50,000 miles on that one. 50,000 miles on that. Not bad at all. All right. What else do we got? We got anything else that looks decent? This one I'm not going to fire because I think there might be something wrong with its block. This one looks decent. <sighs> Clean. This one looks like it came straight from a Harley dealer. Ignition, only 9,000 miles. So this one's basically, I don't want to say brand new, but it doesn't, it hasn't been dogged out. It doesn't have a ton of miles on it. You can see it got laid down on that side. You got some uh, fender damage and whatnot on here, but it could probably be probably be you know plastic replaced maybe you know buff those uh scratches and stuff out all depending on how the forks and stuff are you can see the scratches back here on that but overall 
not very bad at all. Let's see if she uh, runs. Clutch. Oh. Runs like a champ. Good old lights back here. One oh seven Milwaukee eight, huh? Something's unplugged that was plugged in back here, but Let's see if the brakes are working. Seem to be. Yep. ABS light is blinking. That is a positive. I think that is the most running and driving Harleys I think I've ever seen at the auction so far. Huh. Very, very interesting. Got a Vulcan. Not a Vulcan, a Victory. Why'd I say Vulcan? Dummy. Alright, I don't see the key with this one, so I won't screw with that. I think that's it, guys. Alright, guys, that's going to do it for this Copart walk around featuring motorcycles. That's a lot of running bikes. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section down below. Some crazy deals, man. Some of these bikes go for like 150, 200 bucks. And before you say it's not true, Look up some of the lot numbers and follow up for yourself. It's absolutely ridiculous what some of these actually go for. Anyways, that's going to do it for me. Hit the subscribe button if you like what I do. Hit the thumbs up button. And stay tuned for more awesome content.